Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, so far we have looked at what it takes for a business to start up. We've seen what it means to run a business and we saw eventually that means making a profit, but there's a lot that goes on behind it where you have to find factors of production, go through a production process, come up with a good service, and which is what we call an end product. And those are the things what the business is looking at when they're trying to set up internally. But we have to understand that businesses don't work alone. If you open up a grocery store, you will most likely find another grocery store nearby in the same area. If you want to open a car dealership, you will find another one pretty close by. So what I'm trying to get to here is that no business works alone. And there are a lot of things that are happening outside of a business that will have an impact on what the business does within it. And on that end, we're going to discuss today something called the external environment of a business. And the way to explain the whole concept is by using a single word called dynamic. So the dynamic external environment is our topic of discussion. And, and the word dynamic means something that is constantly changing, that is constantly evolving, which would indicate that everything around the business is constantly moving. The government may decide to do something, the consumers may change their preferences, and the fashion may go out, the employees may not be happy working for you. So, so there are things that are working outside of a business that they will not be able to control. However, when those changes do appear outside of the business, they will have an impact on the business one way or another. And that's when the business has to be prepared to make changes and to react, to respond. And again, just emphasize again that no business ever works alone and whatever decision it takes it will have an impact on either a group of people or a business outside of it and and let me explain that through a concept here and let's say we are a restaurant owner and we'd like to grow of course more branches of course that's a good thing but whenever we have to go there are things that are happening around the business that we must take a look at and and I'll tell you that the concept here that we'll be discussing is called a PEST analysis, P-E-S-T. And the P in the PEST stands for political factors. Now, if the government decides that they're going to charge a higher tax on sales, then it's not in the restaurant's hand to not charge it, right? They have to abide by the government's rules and they have to charge their customers a higher price. Of course, that means that the customers may buy less of your product because when things will become more expensive, the immediate reaction is from the customers that we are going to buy less of that product. Another way to look at it would be maybe the government asks you to be more strict about the quality that you're offering to your customers and that's why they will be more frequent food inspector visits. So for that, you will have to hire more people to make sure that the food is uh, fresh, that the inventory is ordered every day and that you're keeping the piece the place clean. So requirements from the government may require more expenses from you. Of course, hiring people and more cleaning will need more money. But the flip side of it is that that also helps you to get into a better quality for your customer. So it's not all bad. There's good positive and negative impact for something that comes from the political factors. Secondly, the economic fest factors. Remember the pest? The E is for economic factors. Now, economic factors, again, no one business controls the inflation in the country. They don't control the unemployment. They don't control how quickly we're growing. But they're part of the whole equation. But whatever changes in the economic ex environment outside of the business will directly impact it. So if the whole economy goes in a recession, like we saw during the COVID period when business had to shut down, it was a of course, it was a change on the social end, but it had an impact economically. And when all the business started shutting down and all the, the customers were confined to their homes, it impacted businesses directly. They couldn't control it, but they had to respond. And we saw, for example, colleges and universities, they moved to online teaching. We saw grocery stores developing their own delivery services. So that's how you have to react to these economic changes, which you cannot control. Now, in PEST, the S stands for social factors. Now, this is how the society thinks. This is what they desire, the fashions, the preferences. We cannot dictate what they want. If you, if someone decides, someone visits, pays a visit to your restaurant and they didn't like the food, they can go on the social media, convince their friend, friends that 
not to go away again, not to buy from you, and you can't control that aspect of the business. You can respond by maybe reaching out to them, trying to make their next experience better, giving them maybe a discount to appease them, but you cannot control what the society is doing. And finally, to finish the PEST analysis, the T stands for technological changes. Now, one of the great examples over the world is a company called Food Panda. Right? When Food Panda came around, they brought in a whole centralized food delivery system where restaurants no longer have to have their own teams and they can outsource that option to Food Panda and they would deliver it for you. So it takes away the hassle of managing a team to deliver and it also gives the customers your menu and a direct contact to you on their phones or their fingertips. So a technological change that has a positive impact on a business. So again, just, just to sum it up, external environment, things that are beyond a business's control, and you even if you try to do it, it's going to be a futile exercise. But what you can do as a business is be ready to respond. Come up with strategies. How are you going to fix these problems, or how are you going to tackle these changes then when they come your way?